it's Di and welcome to part two of my Disney vegan vlog and um, I was gonna make the same intro that I did in part one but it took kind of long so if you are if you haven't watched part one please go watch that one first because I kind of explain what the video is all about and how I recorded it and things like that so go and watch that video I put the link on the on that on the description below and this one is just part two. Um, there's not as many uh, restaurants in part two, but it's because I actually do describe some of the foods a lot in this one. Um, good and bad. I had some. This one I had some some misses, um, but actually it's a really important one because um, I had kind of like a rel revelation in one of them. So it's um yeah. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm gonna keep it short. Um, and yeah please go watch part one if you haven't and stay tuned for part three which is going to come out in a few days after this one and i hope you guys enjoy just i hope that you guys enjoy the first part i hope that you guys enjoy this part and there is a little surprise at the end of the video um i met some exciting people when i was here so um watch the entire video um for the content and the surprise so I hope you guys enjoy it and um, subscribe if you haven't, like this video and click the notification bell so that you get a notification when I put the third video. So here's part two. I'm going to put right here all the restaurants that are going to be part of this second video um, so you can have an idea of the restaurants that I want to in case you're looking specifically for one, they're in the order that they appear. Um, so this is uh, the restaurants for video number two. Okay, today we are at Magic Kingdom and we came to lunch at the Art Guest. Which is just beautiful. I love this restaurant. This is just like, it looks just like the ballroom. And it has two other rooms. Um, one over there is like um, the library. Um, there's the music box. It's my least favorite. And then in here is the um, East Wing uh, with like the bees and the bros. But for lunch, I like this one. For dinner, I like that one. <laughs> but um, yeah, so um, they used to have a lot of options um, that were vegan. Uh, now they have one. So I only had one option. So I never had this before ever. It's apparently a pasta lay, which is like white bean with like some pesto and some, I don't know, tomatoes and some cauliflower and some broccoli so we'll, we'll give it a shot because this is the only option they have okay so let's give it a try i added um, a little bit of the uh, beans with the onions tomatoes and the pesto so let's let's see what it tastes like it smells really good i like the smell of the pesto a lot because it had quite a bit of, of it so let's see good it also has zucchini it's very oily what to say um yeah, it's just like a bean casserole i guess um this is nice vegetables the vegetables are cooked really well um i like the zucchini in it i didn't see it before this um very subtle flavor um the actually the pesto doesn't overwhelm it but um kind of oily like my lips are kind of oily right now probably with the pesto um it was actually pretty good i was i wasn't excited about it but now it's actually gonna be pretty filling i think um and then it's nice to have the um the other um vegetables like the broccoli and the cauliflower um so yeah overall not 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 a bad choice for being the only choice that i have so okay something else to add i just tried the cauliflower and it's very well seasoned. It has a lot of pepper, um, which is nice, but it's kind of undercooked, very, very crunchy. So some people like it that way. I like it very, very soft, um, but it's very, very, <laughs> it has a lot of pepper. So it's very, very seasoned. So I think I need to drink a lot of water. Here's a picture of the dish with much better lighting. Look what perspective can do. Ay ay ay. So we are eating at Casey's, which is in Magic Kingdom. 
Magic Kingdom and they have a plant-based hot dog. It looks like it has corn and some coleslaw and some other vegetables. Um, and it's a plant-based hot dog, so we'll, we'll give it a try. It's $11.49 and it comes with um, apple or french fries. So here it is. Um, it looks really good actually. Pretty good size. Actually, it's a little small, but it has some sort of um, uh, aioli, which obviously is vegan. But um, but yeah, it has corn and slaw, and um, yeah. let's give it a try. Okay, let's try it. Mm. Mm. The hot dog tastes like a sausage, like sausage, sausage. Um, but I like the corn and the aioli. Pretty good. Um, yeah. Cloud here, so I'm gonna continue to eat. It tasted really good. It was just very small. Okay, today we're having lunch at the Sci Fi Cafe. And it's actually really cool. We're gonna be sitting in one of these like old movie, um, old cars, watching movies. It's really cute. Um, but most exciting, they actually have a lot of options for vegans. Um, so starting with, they have um, these milkshakes, um, Oreo, cookie, and or vanilla, and they have vegan options available. In the appetizer, they have the crabless cake, which I've heard it's like amazing. And on the, under the entrees, they have a vegetarian falafel burger, which if you order it without the uh, tzatziki sauce, is vegan. And also they have the vegan tofu lettuce wraps. So a lot of good options, definitely. So we'll, um, we'll head inside and make an order and show you guys what it all looks like. Um, they also have some cocktails and some green and beer and whatever. But yeah. cool. Hey guys, so I'm here at the um, sci-fi um, drive-in. And look, it's really cute. Everybody's in cars. We're in the front of the car. And the first thing I ordered was a vegan milkshake. Um, it's an Oreo milkshake. So there's a little cookie in the top. And it looks delicious. So let's, let's try it. Ooh, it's creamy. Very creamy. Um, you can taste a cookie. I don't think it's like, it doesn't taste like an Oreo milkshake. But it tastes more like a cookie milkshake. <laughs> um, so yes, yeah, it has a cookie there. So yeah, it's not, definitely tastes like a chocolate chip cookie uh, milkshake. But it's good. Oh, and I was worried because I'm pretty sure I asked them to make it vegan, but there's like whipped cream on top of it. But they did put the um, little um, skewer that makes it like, it's like an allergy skewer that makes, makes it like, you know, vegan or whatever. So they wouldn't have put regular milk um, whipped cream if they didn't have this, so now I feel a little bit better. So I guess they do make uh, vegan um, whipped cream. Oh yeah, it tastes really good. So here's a craft cake. Um, has some aioli and some cauliflower and some crispy um, mushrooms on top of it. That looks really, really good. So I'm gonna give it a try. I may not record it because it's so dark here. Here's a close-up of the dish because it was beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna give it a try. Got a little bit of the um, aioli, and let me get a little bit of the the mushroom too. Mmm, the aioli tastes just like the crab, normal crab cake aioli. And it's really fluffy. It kind of does taste like, like crab. I really like it a lot, but the aioli is amazing. Um, wow, this tastes amazing, like like crab cakes. I would highly recommend this one. So far, this is like the most authentic to the dish that I've ever tried. Um, so definitely, definitely recommend it. Okay, so this is the falafel burger, um, and because I put the sauces on the side, they gave me a like tomato chutney. Um, and um, let's see, it's pretty dry, so I think it, it needs like the chutney definitely. 
because um, there's no other sauces inside. So it's the falafel, some tomato, and some arugula, I think. So I'm gonna give it a try. Okay, here we go. I put some of the um, tomato chutney in it. The falafel is really crispy outside and really, really mushy inside, but it's in a good way. Um, and I like the bun a lot, actually. Um, I'm probably going to put a little bit of ketchup, but the chutney's pretty good, actually, I have to say. So, yeah, here it is. Mm, and just as a quick update, because I tried more of the chutney. Um, the chutney is very, very, very sweet. So if you don't like sweet, Kind of, it's kind of a little weird putting it in the falafel, um, but it does add a little bit of like creaminess to it. Um, but it's sweet, it's interesting. I'm not sure chutneys are supposed to be sweet, but this one is. Maybe they are. Um, so just, just so you know, the fries are okay. The fries are very thick. I like really crispy fries. So, but um, but yeah, the falafel is really good. And here's a close up of the falafel burger. So we are at Duck Face Seven. Um, uh, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, and here's the menu, and you know, in Disneyland they have two uh, vegan options. Here they actually just have one, which is obviously what I'm having because it's my favorite thing in the whole wide world, which is the Evolution uh, Garden Spread. But I was surprised because I was going to just video this because to tell you guys about the other option, and but they have a Disneyland, but they don't have it here, which is like a meatloaf. Um, a vegan meat, but they don't offer that here. So if you go to Disneyland, um, they have that option there. I didn't like it came with mashed potatoes, but I really didn't like those, so I wouldn't have ordered that anyways. But I just wanted to like mention that. So if you do go to Disneyland, that is an option. But if you come to Disney World, this is your only option, and it's the best option because it's like my favorite thing. So there you go. This is a view of Duck Bay Seven. There's like little pots that you can eat inside of them, right. tables, um, it's kind of small, there's all the tables outside, um, right now there's not a lot of people so we're fine, but um, yeah, it's really cool inside, really cute. This is my favorite dish in the whole wide world here in this day, and I'm so excited! This thing is so good, I just can't like... I can't tell you. Like, this is the best thing in the whole wide world. It's so good. So, yep. I'm gonna eat it. It's just like, it's not, I don't know what it is. It's just taste, everything about it. Like, the hummus flavoring and the, the kefta flavoring, everything about it is just like, the best. The best. It's just the best. And it has like a lot of bread. And it's only, it's like $13, but it's really filling. So, so happy. I'm gonna try it one more time just in, just in case I don't remember how good it is. Honestly, the flavoring in the caftos, I think it's called now, it has so much seasoning. It's a little bit spicy, but again, like to me, everything's spicy. But it just has a ton of flavor, and I think that's why I love it so much, just because it's like. It has a lot of Mediterranean flavors and like spices and it's so good. Okay, one last thing I promise. It's not just the kefta, kefta, whatever it's called, that is so flavorful. The actual hummus has it's so much flavor. It has a lot of herbs in it, so it's not just like a regular hummus. So it's just like that has flavor, that other one has flavor. Then it has like the crunchy, fresh uh, cucumbers and tomatoes. So it's just like everything together. It's just like an explosion in your mouth. It's so good. Okay, I'll stop now. <laughs> okay, I lost count of how many times we went to Ogus Cantina's this trip. I had my fuzzy tom tom and my Vespian fizz, and those were my two favorite drinks because they're just fun. <laughs> so today we're dining. Which is the restaurant in the UK pavilion, and we're dining in the dining room, which is the um, sitting area where you instead of like dining in the pub, 
but it's really nice because you get to um, sit outside and look at the World, World Showcase and it's really cute. So here is the menu. Um, it's an appetizer, the coronation salad is vegan. Then um, the fish and chips, they actually have a vegan version which is what I'm having for lunch. And then he also said that the um, savory vegetable crumble is also vegan. So it's plant-based um, cheese crust, so it's not it's not vegetarian. It's actually vegan. And he also said that the chicken masala curry can be made with tofu, so that's another vegan option. So they actually have a lot of vegan options. They have three meals and one appetizer as a vegan option. So we will see. This is all I got today. So I'm excited. Let's see what it looks like and tastes like. This fish and chips is. Hmm, we'll see. I've never had vegan fish, so. <laughs> so we'll see. It was a really pretty day today, so. Here is my vegan um, fish and chips. I have to say, it's a little bit small. Um, these are kind of tiny. Uh, but um, then you also get mushy peas, apparently. I personally hate peas, so we'll see. Um, there's a lot of fries and then this sort of tartar sauce and I make sure that I asked that it was vegan and she said yes so we will give it a shot but yeah I wish there was more fish because that's not a lot <laughs> and here's just a close-up picture of the fish and chips okay so let's give it a try I have a nice um, the actual um, fish was pretty crispy when I cut it so we'll see give it a try It's actually pretty flaky. The consistency inside is pretty flaky. The crust is really nice. Pretty crunchy. The tartar sauce is delicious. Um, I love the tartar sauce. I think it's like my favorite thing. But it's also like it used to be my favorite thing before, and it did not let me down. Um, I'm surprised how flaky the um, the fish is actually inside. I'm gonna give it one more try, but again, it's very flaky inside. Like, it doesn't look like it actually, but when you put it, like, when you eat it, it is. So, yeah, the crust is really, really crispy. Um, I think before they didn't used to have the tartar sauce, and I think that's a home run with it. So, yeah, overall, I like it. A pretty good choice. Let me try this piece. I just don't like peas, but uh, tastes like baby food. But I'm gonna eat everything else because it's delicious. Let me try the chips. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Fish and chips. It's a good, good, um, good choice here at the um, Epcot World Showcase. I would honestly get this maybe next time because it was really really good with the I think they put tofu instead. Um, so a really nice choice. So here I'm gonna try a little bite. It has a lot of vegetables, which is pretty surprising. And it's not very spicy, which is amazing. And it has a lot of flavor. It's really nice. It tastes like you can take a masala. Um, so I really like that option actually. The rice is really nice, really well cooked. It has a lot of vegetables. I think it has some potato as well. I see peas, carrots, onions. Um, and again, it's not that spicy, so I love that. So yeah, and I continue having our meal. But um, those two options are really good options. Um, so overall, thumbs up. Okay, isn't there a saying or a or a dish in British called Green England, whatever, <laughs> called um, bangers? Right? I think so. Bangers. What? Bangers and mash. And I just said, this sauce is banging. It's so good. Like, but honestly, even like the fish, look, it actually does look kind of like tuna there. It's really good. I'm really happy about it. Mm. I ate it all. <laughs> 
and I did not eat any more of that. That literally tasted like baby food. Eh. But this was so good. <laughs> really good. And the sauce was just like, banging. Hi guys, hey. I am here with Mr. Mr. Cheesy Pop. Pop. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm Max and I found him here walking around the um, Epcot World Showcase. Yep. And I just had to say hi and spend some time with him. Aww. He's amazing. Thank and you. I just had a great time with him. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, good time. So good to meet you. Yeah. Thanks. This is awesome. Awesome. So check out this video. This is Chissy Pop. <laughs> and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. Here are some more pictures of me and Max. We had such a nice time. He's such a nice guy. And we took him to a little special place to thank him for all that he does. And it was just amazing to meet him. And I was super lucky this trip to also meet Jen and Tim from the Tim Tracker. They were so amazing and super sweet in person. And Tim was like super tall. <laughs> but they were like, absolutely, let's take a picture. I congratulated Jen. And they were just like the sweetest people. The same thing like you see in the videos. That's who they are. And it was just an amazing thing to happen this trip. So thank you guys for watching part two and stay tuned for part three of the final installment of my vegan journey this trip at Disney World.